Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another polish pickup wish list with me. So this month is April's polish pickup and I believe the theme is like flowers or something like that. I wish they like just popped it on the top or something so that I knew because I always forget to check the Facebook group and by the time I remember it's so buried I just don't want to find it. But yeah, we're just going to go through as you can see all the polishes and we're going to wish list and the my process is just add everything that like even piques my interest to my wish list and then I call my wish list throughout the week that gives me time to think about what I want and what I don't want and like that kind of a thing so that I'm not panicking at the last minute and buying everything and then having regrets later financially. So we're just going to look at the nail polish today and I'm just going to go through and read the descriptions, talk about why I am or am not wishlisting it, and here we go. So alphabetically, we're going by a brand. This is 1422 Designs, guaranteed to raise a smile, inspired by the 1967, uh, during the Flower Power era, Beatles album, Sgt. Peppers, which featured each of the band members in brightly colored military style uniforms. Um... It is a bright blue base with bright pink, orange, green at extreme angles, lime flakes, and holographic flakes. A hundred are available. This is one of those kind of mintier leaning greens that I, even though I love green polish, I like darker, richer greens or swampier greens or neon greens. But this tone is just not for me, so I'm going to pass. Alchemy Lacquer Stargazer. This is inspired by the Stargazer Lily. It is a pink, orange, gold shifting shimmer in a darkened base with lime green uh pale green and pale blue magnetic shimmer i think this is really pretty but i just bought a bunch of magnetics that are kind of like funky from cleona and i think that i have something kind of similar not exactly the same but in a similar color like flip here so i don't want to double up because i'm trying to be smarter with my polish money there are 200 available though if you're interested and alchemy lacquers is a great brand all mixed up lacquers flowers die by me polish uh love the name it is a light blurple base with a strong pink gold green shift looks like there are 200 available this is one of those pinky gold shifts that I like it's just not my thing it's not the pink color that i dislike it's this goldish color that I'm just not a fan of. I like this pink to green part here though, but I'm going to pass. And I know I've just passed on the first three, but let me tell you, I saw a bunch that are like going to be instant ads. Just you wait. Anchor and Heart Lacquer's White Rabbit. This is inspired by one of the most classic flower power songs. It is by Jefferson Airplane. Uh, it Let's see. It is a neon pastel coral pink curly formula with green, blue, shifting large particle shimmer and a sprinkling of neon pink, orange, and coral glitter. It doesn't look like there's a cap. This is really pretty. I like this kind of pink. Um, I don't know if I like the glitters necessarily, though. It looks very eastery spring to me, which is pretty on point for the theme, but I'm not an eastery spring person, so while I like the base color, I think I'm going to pass. Ooh, this is pretty. Hard as Nails Galaxy Orchid. Oh my gosh, that is a pretty flower. See, this put the inspiration in. Thank you. <laughs> Inspired by the beautiful flowers named the Galaxy Orchid. It is a purple metallic foil base with blue sparkles and flakes within the polish. Oh my gosh, this is so vibrant. Opaque in two coats. 150 are available. This reminds me of candy foil. I like this. I'm going to add that to the wish list. Atomic Polish My Little Peony. It is inspired by peonies, their favorite flower. It is a neon melon pink polish with a strong gold to pink shift. Ooh, I like the base. It's just that I don't know what it is. Gold and pink, not my favorite. I guess it kind of looks orange, though. I don't think it looks gold. Uh, it has Aurora pigment, pink to gold to green iridescent flakes, opacity in two coats. Because of the large amount of the Aurora pigment, it dries on the matte side. There is no cap. I really do like this from the pictures because, like I said, it looks more orangey than gold. So I'm going to think about it. Baroness X Mimos or Mimo, um, Mimos. Uh oh, I don't know. Inspired by the yellow mimosa tree flowers. My boyfriend tells me I say this word wrong because I say Mimosa instead of Mimosa, which I think is the right way. I don't know, man. Uh, it comes from the Greek word, which means actor or to resemble the leaves of the flower mimic conscious life. It is a sister to 
is it Eleusinian Mysteries and Mighty Heart from earlier this year. Clear base with gold, green, blue, sister unicorn pea loaded with silver reflective glitter. Oh, this is a topper. Oh, okay. I wasn't clicking through the pictures. Yeah, this is a topper, which I don't need more of. <laughs> okay, so then that is an easy pass for me in that case because I got too many toppers that I'm not using. So let's go. BCB lacquers far out. Inspired by Lisa Frank art. Okay. Teal base with a pink, gold, green, multi-chrome magnetic pole, green, purple, pink flakes, and hollow flakes. Uh, 300 are available. This is a very pretty magnetic, but I definitely have something similar. I feel like those Cleona magnetics really scratched my itch for like a weird magnetic. It is very shifty though, looking at these pictures. So if you don't have anything like this, you might want to check this out. I have not tried this brand, so I can't speak to them, but uh, I think that they're on polish pickup quite often. So BKL Belladonna Berries. This is quite pretty. Inspired by the book Belladonna by Adeline Grace. It is a deep turquoise polish with a purple to green multi-chrome shimmer. This is beautiful, and I am very tempted to add it to my list because I like these types of colors. I love purple, and I love a purple-green type of thing. And because it's BKL and like they're just kind of done for a while, I mean, they're still doing polish pickup and stuff, but it makes it extra tempting, but I absolutely have purple to green multi-chromes. I have them out the butt, so I don't need this, even though I kind of want it just for like BKL purposes, but I have to pass. Bluebird Lacquers, yes, we columbine shipping. This was the first time that I learned that a columbine was a flower. I did not know that, and so when I first read this name on Facebook, I was like, I'm sorry, what? And I had to like read the description four times before I fully grasped, like, it's named after a flower. And um, it is a pink shimmer, it's a pink shimmer shimmering base with a beautiful light blue magnetic. While when it's not magnetized, it is a light metallic blue with a pink shifting shimmer. There are 400 available. This is pretty, but like I said, I just like, I bought a lot of magnetics recently and I just don't have, I, I scratched the itch. I just don't need any more magnetics. I don't know why, like maybe because they take a lot of effort. And actually the last magnetic I bought really screwed me over. <laughs> it was a Cirque magnetic that just, it got everywhere. It was a mess. So watch my haul if you want to hear more about that. But yeah, so I'm going to pass, but I like that, that kind of light blue when it's magnetized like that. It looks like a, it reminds me of a lightsaber, to be honest with you. It's like very bright. This is an instant ad. This is by Tani Vienna. This one is called Rosewater. And the second I saw this on the Facebook page, I was like, I must, must own that. I don't care if they're using it as a topper. I want to wear this on my bare nail. I think this looks fantastic. It is inspired by Rosewater. It is a clear base with green to blue to purple in extreme angles, Aurora shimmer and pink irregular glitters. There are 400 available. And the reason I like this, you know, I know they say it's inspired by Rosewater, but to me, this looks like Sakura. And I, because it's like Sakura season right now, like I was just like, okay, gotta have that. I'm buying that. Oh, this is pretty. I didn't see this one yet. By Vanessa Molina, Modified Beauty. Like, look at all that layered glitter in there. It's inspired by something they thought was impossible, but thanks to science is now real. A blue rose. In Greek mythology, the blue rose was created by Chloris, the flower's goddess, and represents the eternal love. Some legends also say that a true blue rose can bring your beloved ones back to life. There are 400 available. It is an ultramarine jelly with galaxy sapphire glitters and iridescent flakes. This is very pretty, but all I can think of is like, man, taking that off because <laughs> I see these layers of glitter. But it is really cool because in that jelly, they are just suspended in there. So you see this like very layered effect that I really, that this is what I like about jelly. So I don't know, I'm thinking about that. Okay, yeah, this is another instant ad. Cadillacers Orchid. I loved this. The second I saw it on the Facebook page, this was a must buy. This one and uh, the Danny Vienna are absolutely coming home with me. Anything else is whatever, but these two, I swear. Inspired by orchids. Look at those flakes. Sorry. Inspired by orchids. It is a light mint with matte neon glitter, uh, with matte, matte neon pink glitter and turquoise iridescent flakes. 640 are available. 
the it's just it's just such a really pretty color combo i don't know i want it cameo color lacquers can you dig it this one's cute inspired by fun and funky floral print it's an ultramarine crelly base with pink red copper green shimmer gold pink shifting flakes and a variety of small neon hex neon circle glitters and silver hollow micro flakes this is cute i like the the really colorful stuff in contrast with this sort of blue there are 105 available i while i like it i don't think i would wear it that often i mean i guess i don't wear anything that often because i have so many uh it's just something about like i i, I have a lot of like rainbow explosion type colors and i don't know i like i like it but i don't know if i want to buy it so i am gonna pass this is cleona cosmetics celosia uh inspired by the popular summertime flowers celosia is a genus of edible and ornamental flowers that are commonly seen in colors of bright magenta red pink orange and yellow our favorite species being the celosia cristata aka the brain flower which pays homage to our maker's neuroscience background. Oh, that's cool. Uh, a pink linear hollow with a red, orange, uh, with a pink, red, orange, yellow shifting shimmer. So this one is very pretty. I have what I think one pink hollow from Hollow Taco. And I don't know, I think that one's brighter. Actually, I think I have a couple pink hollows from Hollow Taco, but I feel like I have something similar. But I know Nick's polish is going to buy this one. I can already tell. He loves pink polish. And it is really pretty. I just, I don't need another pink hollow when I don't really wear hollow. Ooh, this is cute. Coloris de Carol Broken Petals. Inspired by the orange primrose. It is an amber orange jelly with rose gold micro flakes, gold micro flakes, and pink orange gold lime color shifting flakes. I'm wearing a bright orange right now. This one is like super like pumpkin-y to me, like pumpkin guts. It's kind of fun, um, but I kind of want that. I'll let me think about it. I love Colorista Carol, so let's see. Oh, wow. This one, it reminds me of, um, reminds me of poppy seeds. Crystal Knockout Allium for the Ages, inspired by Alliums. Uh, pink Lavender Curly Base with blue, purple, and pink iridescent flakies. Purple, blue shimmer, and matte black glitter. Looks like there's no cap. This is really cute and delicate, but I don't like the super tiny glitters like that very much. And it reminds me of a poppy seed muffin. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like poppy seed that much. So I'm going to pass. Cupcake polish green tea Insp <laughs> inspired by the beautiful artwork on the Arizona green tea cans. That's funny. I do. The Arizona green tea cans are very aesthetic. Like, I'm not going to lie. A light mint green nail polish packed with pink iridescent shimmer you can really see that coming through um but yeah it's too minty for me so i will pass but i do think this is really pretty i would say it looks like you do get a lot of like visible nail line with this one so be aware of that cuticula best buds this one's cool inspired by flower buds it is a pink that leans a bit warm red with yellow gold orange gold purple red glass flakes and matte black flakes no cap okay yeah that's going on the wish list cuticula has just some of the coolest flaky bombs i don't know i like this dainty digit lacquer tie-dye orchid this is a inspired by a purple to teal orchid it is a blue green purple pink ultra chrome with a strong teal lean 150 are available this is kind of in my opinion a common multi-chrome shift I mean, obviously there's some variations between each brand's version of it, but I do have these like purple to teal ones. So I don't need any more because I don't wear them very often anymore. So I will pass. This is going on the wish list. This one, I'm not sure if I'm going to buy this one yet. I don't know. This one's called Impending Bloom. This is by Dom Nail Polish. It's inspired by bright red lilies with a brilliant blue background. And there are 300 available. It's a blue base polish with blue purple shimmer and assorted red shreds and glitters. These blue red polishes, they get me. But Cadillacer just released one for, I think, their spring collection that it's like similar in color scheming, but like different in execution. They used, I think, just hex glitters on theirs. And I'm tempted by that one. And I don't know if I want the Cadillacer more, like if I want to place an order for just a single Cadillacer, or if I want to throw this one into my polish pickup order. So we will see. Danglefoot Nail Polish, Irresistible. 
uh, inspired by the beautiful Iris Bloom. This one's pretty. It is a pale blurple base with a strong purple blue shimmer. It looks like it's glowing. And a, oh, and a glowing blue purple iridescent flakies, opaque in three coats. It is a more sheer polish due to the style of it. 175 are available. Yeah, it does look pretty sheer, but at the same time, I don't think I can see visible nail line. I, I can on this one, but I feel like it's not super noticeable because there's all these flakies in it. It is really pretty, but I can think of a couple in my collection that do look similar. So I'm going to pass. Do Nail Polish Purple Hibiscus. This is inspired by the purple flower called the Purple Hibiscus. The color of the polish resembles the flower. That's, yeah, that would make sense. A burgundy polish with color shifting. Oh, it's magnetic pigment, uh, which shifts from green to purple to blue. Contains chameleon flakes. There are 300 available. So where is it magnetized? Is that, that's it magnetized or I can't. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here it is magnetized. It looks like it's not an especially strong magnetic. So if you're looking for something like super boom magnetized, this might not be it. This is not my color. It's kind of like that, that whiny red type color, like wine red, not like as if the red was whining. Um, I don't like that kind of red. So I'm going to pass. Dreamland Lacquer's Le Centur. This was inspired by a photo that one of their friends took in the Le Centur perfumery in London during Bloomsbury in Bloom. What is Bloomsbury in Bloom? Is that like a festival? It is a neon blue curly base filled with orange iridescent flakes. They pull more peachy in the blue base and they shift from gold to green. This is really, really pretty. I kind of want it. Uh, I don't know. I think I probably have something similar. I don't know. The base is a little bit different. I'm going to wish list it and then check my collection. DRK Nails piece. This looks like it is a topper, which means I do, I do not need it. Um, this is, yeah, it's an effect topper that can be used as a nail polish too. The flakes are super bright and glowy. They are hard to capture under direct light. It is a sibling of ethereal rainbow and the inspiration is the cover of a long play called Celebration of Flower Power, the anti-war movement of the 60s. Uh, let's see, 480 are available. She's got it showcased over four different colors. We got a couple over black, maybe, uh, over white. So this is kind of like just a big flaky bomb. Uh, but like I said, no more toppers, Hillary. Emily Damali, Art in Nature, inspired by artwork. Oh, that is reflective. It is a steel blue base with silver reflective glitters and large particle pink gold green shimmer. It will dry textured, so you'll need some top coat on that. Not that you shouldn't be putting top coat on it already. Let's see. 200 are available. This is not my type of blue. Like, I just, I don't like these kind of like, what do you call Like, this is steel blue. I don't like these like lighter faded looking shades, I guess you could say. So I'm going to pass. Ooh, that, see, this is the kind of color I like. Envy Lacquer, I'm expensive. I already like this. Inspired by the Saffron Crocus, it is a bright violet hollow base with pink to green shifting Aurora and shifting chameleon glitter. 200 are available. Love the color, love the name. Adding that to the wish list. That's really fun. Oh my goodness. Okay. Fair Maiden Dilly Dahlia. That's a funny name. It's a soft orchid purple, leaning pink with blue, teal, purple, shifting Aurora shimmer. Now don't Dilly Dahlia and add this beauty to your cart. This reminds me a little bit of um, Doomicorn by BKL. Maybe like a touch darker. So if maybe, maybe somebody should compare that, please. If somebody could, that would be nice. Uh, but... Yeah, it, it looks similar enough that I feel like I don't need it. Fancy Gloss Black Pansy. This one's cool. Inspired by a picture of a black pansy. The first pictures have two coats and both coats are mag magnetized. Oh, the rest have three thin coats without a magnet. Very dark gray black when it's cold to violet with when it's warm. With silver magnetic pigment, there are 350 available. So... Here it is magnetized, as you can see, um, and it is also a thermal, so there's a lot going on with this one. I don't buy thermals, as you guys probably know at this point, just because they have a shelf life. That's not because I don't like them, 
This is a cool looking thermal, but because it is a thermal, I have to pass. Femme Fatale Day and Night Shade. This one is fun. I like this. Oh my gosh, it looks like, kind of looks like weird chicken pox. Inspired by Nightshade Flowers, it is a deep velvety black and blue jelly base that is slightly sheer, but gives way to an enchanting shifting sheen that flips from purple to pink gold green within our lustrous pink, red, and copper iridescent flakes and scattered teal glitters. Two to three coats, glitter top coat is probably what you're gonna want. 400 are available. I like this. This is definitely going on the wish list. Look at those glitters, those are such a fun color. Garden Path Lacquers, don't you know that you're toxic? Inspired by Oleander, a clear base with silver holographic flakes, pink iridescent flakes, and pink micro shimmer. This is one of those paler colors that is just not for me. I like the addition of flakies in there, but overall it's too washed out for me. That's all. This is Girly Bits Snowdrop. This one is inspired by the ethereal beauty of snowdrop flowers. I've never heard of those. It is based on a soft focus photo of the blooms set against gorgeous blue and orange sunset. Um, it is a smoky slate blue slash green with orange gold shimmer and hollow flakes. This is another one of those like more subdued colors that I just am not into right now. There are 300 available. This is pretty and I know that in the past I have wanted stuff like this. It's just like right now it's not my mood, you know? Here we have Glisten and Glow's Irises from Anne, inspired by Jill's mom, Anne, who loves irises. They are a, this is, they are, this is a light green crelly with various shapes, sizes, and finishes of purple glitter. Oh, so they have a mix of finishes in there too. That's kind of fun. Mint green kind of color, so not my thing, but it is a good, green and purple is just a great color combo. So if you're interested in that, there's that for you. I like that picture. Graceful Nail Polish, Somebody to Love, inspired by Salvia's. It is a purple to sage green thermal. You can see it kind of switching here uh, with, a, with an Aurora shimmer that adds a gorgeous purple flash when in warm green. Oh my God, let's try this again. Graceful Nail Polish, Somebody to Love. This is inspired by Salvia's. It's a purple to sage green thermal with Aurora Shimmer that adds gorgeous purple flash when in the warm green state, filled with ultra chrome chameleon flakes in green, pink, purple, and blue. And 120 are available. It's a cute color combo. I like that, but it's a thermal, so I'll pass. Great Lakes Lacquer, Ka Like a Wind. This is inspired by the Field of Roses that surround the Dark Tower from the Dark Tower series by Stephen King. It is a black cherry showing stunning shifts of green, blue, and purple. I don't know what top coat this person is using because that looks, it looks like wet. Like it looks really pretty. Um, I definitely know I have something similar. Do I want this? Yes, I do. <laughs> do I need this? No. Um, so I'm going to pass, but I love Great Lakes Lacquer. So if you don't have anything from them and you don't have anything that looks like this, get this. Hearts and Promises Perfect Purple Pansies, inspired by Purple Pansies. It is a violet purple cream base with a strong gold shimmer. This is very pretty. It has 300 that are available. I do like this color combo. Hmm. I'm going to think about that. That's actually like, it's simple. Like it's just like a simple shimmer, but I do love a shimmer. Oh, that's cute. Heather's Hughes Late Bloomers inspired by the colorful blooms of hydrangeas. It is a sheer, ooh, sheer white base with a strong blue violet shimmer and flakes filled with a mix of glitters in various shades of purple, blue, and green. I really like this in theory, but I don't wear like white, jelly slash crelly glitters. I don't know what it is. I just won't wear them. I like it, but I know that if I add it to the wish list, it's going to come off. Indie by Patty Lopez. Is it Himero Callus? Inspired by the Himero Callus Lily Burgundy Jelly Base with Aurora Shimmer and Gold Reflective Glitter. 300 are available. It's just not my color, you know, and so I'm going to pass. I do like the gold reflective glitter though. That's a good contrast. Jen and Berry's Blow Your Rose, inspired by the Waterford Glass Rose. It is a dense light pink linear holographic base with red, orange, and gold shifting shimmer and pink bronze metallic flakes. 200 are available. This one's just too kind of pale and washed out for me. So I'm going to pass. It does kind of remind me of like a rose gold though. 
Gior Couture Fle Aiti, Aiti uh, inspired by the national flower of Haiti, the hibiscus. It is coral red when it's cool to a yellow gold when it is warm. Red, bronze, copper, color shifting flakes and reflective glitter. Because this is a thermal, I will pass. But, oh, that is a very blurry photo. Um, Let's see here. I like it in the orange state. This like yellowy kind of paler color is not for me. But I'm not going to pick that up because of the thermal aspect anyways. Kathleen Co. Field of Flowers, inspired by the Field of Beautiful Wildflowers in the New Orleans City Park. It is a bright springy green with a rainbow mix of iridescent flakes, teal, metallic microflakes, and a touch of hollow. 500 are available. This is very cute, but it's just too spring for me, which I know it is spring, but I don't know. I'm just not a spring person. KB Shimmer, Rose Were the Days, inspired by roses. It is a deep magenta leaning polish with pink and red tones with an orange to gold shifting shimmer. Depending on the lighting and the viewing angle, this polish can skew pinker or more red. Hollow flakes add a dewy holographic sparkle with uh, to this two coat shade. It's one of those like colors where I wouldn't call it a pink and I wouldn't call it a red. It's kind of like somewhere in between. And I have a lot of those and I wear none of them. So I'm going to have to pass. Leisha's Lacquer uh, Wabagwan. It is inspired by the Ojibwe floral motifs that are often found in their beaded designs. Flowers are incredibly important to the Ojibwe people, and so is the springtime. Wabagwan means flower in Ojibwe. It is a turquoise curly with black flakes and glitters, as well as neon circular glitters. This is, I have a blue with like these black flakies in it already, and I'm not a big fan of the colorful glitters in it. I like just the plain black flakes in there, so I'm going to pass. Lemming Lacquer, Tiptoe Through the Tulips. Now I can hear the song going through my head right now. Uh, it is a grass green jelly base with pink to gold to green magnetic pole and scattered gold holographic sparks. I can't really, like, it says it's a green, grass green jelly base, but it's really hard to see. I guess maybe here you can kind of see it. Um, it looks very different across multiple pictures, and I don't like to buy polishes where you can't really like pin it down. So I'm going to pass. This is pretty. Lily pad lacquer pocket full of posies. Uh, inspired by a bunch of colorful flowers. Cobalt navy jelly with, are you ready for this? Pink, green, gold, orange, blue, teal, chameleon flakes. And pink, purple, aqua, crystal, chameleon flakies. This, I like this blue right now. I'm into this blue. Uh, I'm going to add that. Ooh, that's fun. Lucky 13 Lacquer, Great Fairy Fountain, inspired by the Legend of Zelda's Great Fairy Fountain, especially the Breath of the Wild's fountains. I just remember when I was a kid playing Majora's Mask and the first time seeing those fairies, and they had the worst animated breasts I've ever seen in a video game. I just, I'm just gonna put that out there. I'm just gonna say the fairies' boobs were weird, okay? Um, it comes with three rupees. So that's cool. Uh, distract from the weird thing that I just said. <laughs> it's an ocean blue, leaning ever so slightly teal jelly with pink, gold, and green color shifting flakies, red, gold, green color shifting iridescent hexes, and silver, green, aqua, blue color shifting magnetic pigment. Okay, so here it is magnetized, I think. It looks like it's a very, like, tame magnetic, a light magnetic. Um... It glows a mystical dark blue or a mystical blue in the dark. This one does not include a UV flashlight or a magnet this month. I think usually they do, but it does, as I said, come with these rupees, which I just want those. I want to eat those. They look fun. They look enjoyable to touch. Um, 130 are available. Uh, I'm not going to pick this up because this isn't my kind of blue, but this tempted me. Maybe they should just sell me the rupees. I'll buy those. Uh, Lumen Silken Path. That's a really pretty photo. Inspired by the ground cover of the, is it, is it Hakaranda? Or I, I feel like that's a soft J, right? Blossoms that create to offer a silken path to all that travel beneath them, offering an experience so delicate, fragrant, and a wonder to behold. It is a delicate lavender base saturated with a pink to blue violet shimmer and a scattered large particle sparkle that builds within builds depth in one to three thin coats 600 are available this is very pretty very princessy you know um 
I do have some stuff kind of similar to this and it is probably like all I really need, I think. So I'm going to pass, but if I didn't have something like this, I'd probably buy it. Lynn B. Designs, she's a lantern in the night. I can already tell you it's not really my kind of pink, but let's see what it is. Inspired by the song Flower Power by Greta Van Fleet. It is a magenta base. I think it's just magenta. I just don't like magenta. I don't know what it is. Um, it's a super shifter. That sounds fun. With a green to blue to purple to pink shifting shimmer. It looks like there's no cap. MJ Lacquer, what incarnation? <laughs> Inspired by a quote that I often use with my grandchildren. Um, it is a dark brown tinted jelly base with orange to red to copper magnetic pigment, red and purple reflective glitter, as well as color shifting flakes and multi shimmer. There are 120 available. This is an interesting, which just says what incarnation over and over. That's funny. This is an interesting polish. Um, I don't think I'm going to pick this up, but I don't know why. Like whenever I think of carnations, I just think of like Valentine's Day. Cause did you guys in high school do like the carnation thing where you could like send carnations to people that you liked and it seemed like every girl in every class got carnations except for you like at least i felt that way so i had this friend who would always just send me like a couple throughout the day and it was nice of him but um it was also really embarrassing so because they were pity carnations <laughs> mumu's signatures no one is too old for a fairy tale inspired by a beautiful flowery fountain wallpaper that is a specific wallpaper. Shimmery pearl white base with pastel glitters, hollow shreds, and flakes of rainbow color. I think it would be cool to see what this looks like over a color, uh, like as a topper. I don't think that I want it in this state just because I just don't, you know, it's white and not my thing. Um, did I say 100 were available? Because that's the case. I'm going to pass on this just because... It's not for me, but I would love to see what it looks like just over black or something. Moonshine Manny, Purdy Flower, inspired by the skunk named Flower from the film Bambi. It is a thermal shifting black to vanilla filled with black and hollow flakes and accented with iridescent flakes shifting green to violet. 200 are available. That's a cute concept, uh, but it is thermal, so I'll pass. MTK Design, Forever Sunset. This is... Inspired by Forever Susan Lily and Royal Sunset Lily. Um, I guess those are types of lilies. And it is like a reddish orange jelly base with purple, orange, gold, multi-chrome shifting shimmer and orange, gold shifting iridescent micro flake. Not my color, so I'm just going to pass. But it is like a very, like, it feels like a very classic red. Music City Beauty, The Rose. I do like this pink. This is kind of cute. It's a hot pink base with gold shimmer and holographic flakes. I feel like I have a lot that is similar to this. Maybe not with those flakes, but I have a lot in this color. Uh, and it's not like a real standout in my collection, so I'm going to pass. Nailed it. Stolen name. Inspired by Spirited Away. A sheer watermelon base packed with pink slash gold and copper gold green crystal flakies. 300 are available. Uh... I just want to know, like, no, no offense, but why is this inspired by Spirited Away? <laughs> Isn't it supposed to be inspired by flowers? Because I'm trying to think. I've seen that movie a lot, and I don't think that has anything to do with flowers. But whatever. It is a pretty polish. It's very pale. Well, I guess it's not very pale. It's pale for my taste, so I'm going to pass. Night Owl Lacquer Pink Moonstone. Now, I can tell you right now, just looking at it, it's this is one of those pale shades that's not for me, but it is very pretty. This is such a cool shift. Like, look at this gradiented shift here. Uh, it's just not something I would reach for. However, I do really like it. It is inspired by the Pink Moonstone Orchid. It's a clear base filled with bright blue micro flakies and vibrant fuchsia peach gold shifting shimmer. Let's see. Yeah, it is very pretty, but it's just, I, I know that it would just sit in my drawer. Noodles Nail Polish. Oh, The Places You'll Grow. This is a cute polish. Inspired by Succulents. It's a semi-sheer periwinkle curly with teal aqua green shifting flakes, silver hollow glitters, and pale matte. Pale blue matte glitters. I think that's what's getting me is the pale blue matte glitters. Dries with some texture. Apply top coat for a smooth finish. 200 are available. It's very close to white. 
Not in this picture, it's sure not, but every other picture it is. Oh my. See, I like it in this picture. I would buy it here, but here it's too close to white for my comfort. And I have a feeling that it doesn't look so much like this, but it looks a lot more light like this. So I'm going to pass. Polish, I Can Buy Myself Flowers, inspired by Miley Cyrus's song, I Can Buy Myself Flowers, indigo blue with holographic flakes and intense aqua green blue shifting micro flake shimmer. This is calling to me. I, I'm going to add that to the wish list. I think I kind of want that. Paint It Pretty Polish Lupine. Inspired by the purple lupine flower, it is a purple, pink, gold, green, multi-chrome. 160 are available. Definitely not in the market for this type of purple, so I'm going to pass. Ooh, this is cute. Gilded corn flower. I feel like Painted Polish does these types of polishes with like these little like gold flecks in them. They do them really well. It is inspired by a meadow of corn flowers drenched in golden sunlight. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. Uh, corn flower blue curly base with crushed gold metallic flakes. Let's add that. 400 are available. Pampered Polish. Oh, behave. Inspired by Austin Powers Velvet Suit. I want a velvet suit. I feel like I could pull off a velvet suit. It is a velvet drying navy blue with a turquoise shimmer and a variety of matte white flakes. Honestly, I like this a lot. I feel like I wouldn't wear it for fear of removal, but I'm going to think about it. Paradox Polish, The Flower of Life. It is, let's see... A ruby base, magnetic with red, pink, blue, green shift. This is cool magnetized. I like that. Um, that's a weird magnet. Okay. I don't think that I would wear it very often. And like I said, like I'm kind of magneted out right now. So I'm going to pass. The magnet Magnetics, I love them. They're beautiful, but they take a lot of work. Oh, this is pretty. <laughs> Penelope Lou's blue field. Those blue glitters are getting me. I don't like the pink to gold base though, but like in this case, I kind of do. I don't know. Hmm. I usually don't, but why do I like it here? Am I tricking myself? It is inspired by a field of blue flowers with a sunset in the background. Aurora sparkle pigment, pink, orange, gold with a blue navy hollow glitter. 700 are available. Huh. I kind of like it. So I want to think about it. Phoenix poppy dreams inspired by poppies. It is a mix of red, orange, copper to golden ultra chrome magnetic pigment, micro flakies, green, aqua, blue, purple, aurora shimmer, and blue sparkly galaxy glitter. What is that? A thousand are available. This looks very pretty in the photos, but I feel as though a lot of times when you see every color in these pictures, they don't really look like that in real life. And it's like, I don't know, like, it's just my experience and I'm not trying to like shade anybody, but like, I just feel like a lot of times when you see every color flip that they're describing here in one nail, it's just not the case for me. I don't know if my eyes don't work. I don't know, but I don't think it's going to look exactly this way in real life. So I'm going to pass. Pie colors, paradise blue, uh, inspired by a bouquet of white, coral red and blue colored lilies. It is a pale blue jelly filled with iridescent red, gold, green, color shifting flakes. 200 are available. Oops, I did not mean to do that. This is like one of those like Cinderella blues. It's very pretty, but I feel like I put a blue kind of flaky on my list earlier. That looks very sheer, by the way. I think I will pass. Poetry Cowgirl, Nail Polish, Dead Flowers, inspired by Miranda Lambert's song, Dead Flowers. It is a full coverage micro glitter Packed with metallic green, rose, and garnet glitters. Uh, I think that means blue. Uh, metallic micro flakes, platinum, silver flakes, and orange, gold, crystal chameleon flakes. Not a big fan of full coverage micro glitter so much. Uh, because I feel like I'm, I, it's my problem. But like the way I apply them, they just get real patchy. So I'm going to pass. Polish for days in bloom. Inspired by the Great Silence Dahlia, it is a bright pink base with an orangey yellow gold shifting iridescent shimmer. This is one of those like pinky golds that I just like, I like the pink base. It's that orangey goldish shimmer that I'm not super into in this. So I'm going to pass. Psych Minerals, don't pass on this flora. 
inspired by Passiflora grenadilla. Um, Don't Pass on This Flora is a grape jelly base with blue shimmer as well as blue to green to gold flakies. 100 are available. Definitely have a lot in this tone. I pulled a couple in this tone for my current nail polish rack for the month. So I'm going to pass. Oh, that's pretty. Rain Dance Lacquer. Cute but prickly. Inspired by globe thistles. See, there's another one of those Cinderella blues. I like, I don't usually like like pale blues, but Cinderella blue I like. Soft periwinkle blue. Yeah, I guess I like periwinkle. Soft purple or soft periwinkle polish with a soft purple to pink glow and a scattering of delicate holographic micro flakes. A hundred are available. Hmm. I, hmm. I don't think I need this. I think I have something similar. Red eyed lacquer JRC. Inspired by my youngest daughter's middle name, Rose. It is a pale peachy base with pink gold shimmer. 300 are available. This is just too light for me. It's one of those like more like washed out type of colors that I'm just not into. That It looks pretty yellow there, but yeah, I'm going to pass. Rogue Lacquer. Here comes the sun. Oh, that's fun. Rogue also, just like Cuticula, Rogue also does these types of flakies in a way that I absolutely love. Inspired by sunflowers. Oh, I like sunflowers. It is a gold orange mustard glass flake with gold and black metallic flakes. That's pretty. Let's think about that. Sassy Cat's Lacquer Enchanted Rose. Inspired by the Galaxy Rose. This is a soft rose polish with a glowy purple shimmer. It says shimmer may be camera shy. There are 100 available. Yeah, it's... I can see it a little bit. A shimmer is hard for me to capture, so I'm not, like, going to criticize anybody. But I feel like because I can't see it super, like bam in your face and that's the kind of shimmer i like i'm probably gonna pass oh my gosh sassy sauce polish iris you were here oh, i want this <laughs> i like this this is very cool um i cannot buy this magenta rose is it magenta that's not magenta that's purple i don't know i don't actually know what magenta is uh, magenta rose thermal with a strong blue violet glow and a similar shifting ghost flakies while it's cold that fade away when warm and leaves that glowy blue violet shimmer and there are 500 available i want this so bad it's calling to me and it's killing me to not buy it but i just shouldn't because it is a thermal Sovereign Beauty Blooming. This is another one of those pretty white crellies that I just, I wouldn't wear it, but I like it. Inspired by blue and white morning glories, pink, purple, and blue glitters in various sizes with pink shimmer and a white crelly base. 150 are available. It's cute, but I just don't wear white crellies. Oh man, see, here's another cute white crelly Swamp Gloss Neon Petals. This one is inspired by brilliantly lit flowers, a white crelly base with glow in the dark pigment and neon and matte hexes and circles 500 are available very cute but i will pass just because i know i will not wear it sweet and sour lacquers rammy inspired by ramona flowers and it is a light purple light blurple excuse me base with a strong pink orange gold green shifting shimmer 300 are available i like this but i know i have similar stuff it looks like it's a little bit sheerer and it looks like it's a little bit um like that paler washed out that I'm just not feeling right now. So I'm going to pass. I love sweet and sour lacquer though. Sweetheart polish vintage sheets inspired by a pair of groovy seventies print hand-me-down floral sheets. I had as a kid, it is a micro glitter featuring blues and lavenders in both metallic and hollow finishes with blue to purple shimmer and blue to purple UCC flakes. Because I, like I said earlier, I'm not a big like micro glitter full coverage. I'm going to pass vapid corpse flower inspiration is ignited by the most beautiful and intense uh vapid's corpse flower it is a bloody dark berry base with a strong green to purple shift and let's see it's green and purple is most common it says but it says it grabs at the full spectrum iridescent flakes in a blue purple gold green uh Let's see, two to three coats and a toppy, a toppy gloss coat is what I was about to say. A glossy top coat gives this beast the perfect finish. Definitely have this multi-chrome, not like in a flaky, but definitely have this like color switch. There are 320 available. I don't think I need another multi-chrome that looks like this. I'm determined to try Vapid at some point though. What addiction, Flora Pisable? Nope. 
Listen, I took a lot of French and I've forgotten most of it. So inspired by artwork of a beautiful blue flower. It is a teal jelly base filled with purple shimmer and a mix of green hex glitters in a variety of sizes. 130 are available. This teal with this green, it looks pretty cool. Um, but let's see. I don't know. It's just not calling my name. I feel like if it had a stronger shimmer in it, I would want that but I can't see the purple shimmer very well. So I'm gonna pass. Oh, that's pretty. Watch a frozen orchid. This looks really glowy. It is inspired by orchids, similar or shimmer duo chrome base with turquoise metallic micro flakes. 300 are available. Definitely one of those more washed out shades, but it's calling to me a little bit. I do like it. Um, I just think that right now it's very springy and I'm not into these types of colors but they look so glowy. Like that's what gets me is they look like they're like glowing off the nail. Wildflower Lacquer Flower in the Sun. This is another one of those that kind of reminds me of a candy wrapper. It's inspired by Janice Joplin. It is an indigo jelly base with a subtle pink to gold shifting shimmer, red, gold, green crystal flakes, pink to orange crystal flakes, gold crystal flakes, and a scattered blue to purple crystal flakes. A lot of crystal flakes. It's pretty, but I think I added a kind of similar one earlier maybe. So I'm gonna pass. And last but not least, we have Zombie Claw Love Saves, inspired by Flower Power Signs. Red neon base filled with a rainbow of glitters and flakies, 200 are available. I don't know if I would call this red. I feel like, I don't know. It's kind of in between. It's like in between almost red, almost pink. It's cute and fun, um, but I just don't think that colors for me. I feel like it's a little bit peachy and it's gonna make my hands look blotchy, I can already tell. So yeah, that was everything. I kind of like browsed the hand and nail and miscellaneous. I didn't see much that piqued my interest, but you know, they do have like balms and nail oils and stamping plates over here. So if you're interested in stuff like that, definitely check that out. And then they also have like a miscellaneous section with like jewelry and like cat toys and, and things like that. So check those out if you're interested. So let's check out the wish list. So we have 6, 12, 18 in total. I will tell you right now, I am 100% getting the Danny Vienna and the Cadillacer, Cadillacer. I don't know why I said it like weird. Uh, those two are yeses. They're coming home with me. That's that. We'll see on the other ones as the week goes by, you know, what I narrow it down to. I might just end up getting those two. I can't decide yet. But yeah, let me know down below what you've wishlisted, what you're like definitely taking home with you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.